Hello people of YouTube, Shangri-La is finally here and here you see Warno and me, SuperNab556, um, playing um, on the map and here you see Warno stabbing a monkey, well that. Um, this is um, our first, second, well my third attempt, I know Warno has been on it before, um, but, well technically my second. Um, and, yeah, um, first, my first game, uh, it was me, Wano, Poke, and, uh, we got to round 14, which isn't bad. Um, but yeah, in this one, it's just me and Wano, there you see me, yay! This map is not what I expected, actually. I expected, um, it to be... Not as difficult as it actually is. The zombies appear behind you with very little warning. Um, the perks, um, I did not know that the perks uh, swapped like um, each at the start of each match. That's something new and I would not have expected. Quite clever, but mm. Um, the pa how to open pack a punch is quite um, ingenious, I must admit. Um, on solo, it's easy, but you know, um, the new wonder weapon I haven't used yet, unfortunately. But Warno has twice, um, and I mean I've seen it, you know, in use. It's brilliant. It is. It's like it's, it's like Dobby, basically. They make a million Dobbies, and then you just run into them and <laughs> all go. All of them. Um, yeah, I mean, this is really quite a good map. Um, it's not quite the trap-filled, um, you know, the trap-filled field filled map that we were promised. I mean, there are traps. But they're not quite. Well, they're not really. What's the word? They're not. Well, there. I mean, um, the only actual trap I know of is the one in the waterfall, and that is. Um, it's free to use, but it's not exactly majorly um, useful. I mean, it makes zombies fall over, but it doesn't kill them. Um, um, another thing is the monkeys. They're, they're actually brilliant. Um, as you will see in this uh, game, we get loads and loads and loads of max ammos just because me and... well, mainly Warno. Um, just... they just wait. Um, we just let the monkeys pick up the perks, wait. We were always hoping for a random perk, but they never came up. But we got loads of max ammos. Very helpful. And the fact that you get 500 um, after... There's Warno stealing my box. Um, and the lucky person has the ray gun. <sighs> um, that's a screamer, by the way. I'll go into them in a bit. Um, and the way you get 500 points whenever you kill a monkey or a thousand on double points is always good as well. Um, yeah. With... There are three kinds of uh, zombies here. There are normal zombies, which are, well, surprisingly enough, normal zombies. Um, and there are napalm zombies, which are a lot like the George Romero of the map, in that they require um, they require um, a lot of hits. They um, they need to be hit a lot, they have a lot of health, um, but if you go near them, then um, they... And here we see Warner trying to get a max ammo, yes? There we go, max ammo. Um, and, yeah, um... They are annoying, the napalm zombies. Um, I've been killed by them several times. I think we've killed... We have killed a fair few. Yeah. Um, you can kill them. 
and um, if you hit them or go near them, they just explode and die anyway, but you don't get the points. Um, with Shriekers, they're like the sprinters in Verux and Call of the Dead, but they, when they scream, your uh, screen goes all blurry, and um, <laughs> there's me downing to a Shrieker. And um, you, you go a bit slower, stuff like that. And um, they're not difficult to kill. They're about as um, as powerful as normal zombie, as health. Oh my god, they have the same health as normal zombies, pretty much. But they are just annoying to kill at times. Um, when napalm zombies die, they leave behind a um, pit of napalm, and any zombies or players that run through them get hurt by the napalm. Um, with Shriekers, when they die, they emit a high frequency sound that um, kills any nearby zombies. They just kind of stop, hold their heads, and their heads explode. Lovely. Um, there's me being confused. Look at my confusion. And there we go. Yeah, I mean, it, it's an enjoyable map, it's brilliant, but it's just. It, you need to know the map and you need to have a decent tactic to know what you want to do. That statue, by the way, um, on a four player game, all four of those would be spinning. When it's all stationary, um, that's when the Pack a Punch room is open. And with Pack a Punch, you only have 45 seconds before you, um, you're forced off it, basically. Uh, round five, yay! Um, yeah, um, there are seven perks, as usual. Um, the spike moors are extremely helpful. They're basically, well, they are claymores, but um, they're very helpful because if you get them at an early round and then use. Um, um, well, two every round, you can just kind of camp somewhere and have a pretty um, good, you know, feeling that you're not going to be flanked by any zombies. It, oh, I died again, oh my god. And I need this max ammo, by the way. Ah, well. Yeah, um, I'm not great at this map. I mean, uh, on my first game, I um I actually uh, didn't die until around 12 or something. Then I died again. Then we all died. But um I don't know. I just had an exceedingly bad game this time. Ah well. You live, you learn, you move on. Um at this point I have the HK-21 and the um, Galil, while Warno only really needs the ray gun. He loves the ray gun. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, as soon, um, to all subscribers who were asking us for games, um, we do apologise, but um, we just we need to get used to the map before we start playing with subscribers. We do um, we do apologise majorly, but um, um, we just think that we do need to know the map before we start playing with you guys and like doing more challenges and stuff. So for the next few days, you'll probably see us uh, just do random matches where we're just learning the map really. Um, we'll do the Easter egg at the weekend, I think. Um, so, with that, it'll probably most likely be first come, first serve, as it were. So, um, if you're too late to join in, I apologise, but there are three of us and we only need one more person. Um, we won't, if you ask in the comments, we won't um, say yes, definitely. It's a um, big ambiguous, we won't know. That's the end of this part, and uh, you'll see Warner on the next one.